Okay, YouTubers, it's a joke from Art Alien TV. This was a, a gig of pan. This is Soul 3251. Now, I did this gig of pan initially um, a month, a couple of months back. Down here is a very strange thing. Now, I didn't discover this. This was found by Jim West, a very good researcher, Jim. He's found loads of interesting things over the years. And uh, this is one of his finds. And if you click on this link, it will take you to this image here, which was done by Rami Barilan. Now, Rami Barilan is also a very good researcher, but also a very good graphics person. He does a lot of graphics stuff, like I do, and makes great memes and does really good enhancements of these things, often a lot better than I do, I, I would say. Um, he's just got a really good technique. And uh, you can see here the same thing. Let's go back to that. There it is. If I use the magnifier, you can actually see this has only had a basic enhancement. In other words, it's been brightened up, but nothing else. Okay, so there's no color added to this or anything like that. Just um, contrast and, it, and brightness. And we've got this rather strange thing on top of this little column or plinth. And I think this was placed on top of it. In other words, this is artificial. Now, I don't know what this thing on top is, but it does look very, very odd indeed and looks like a skull. So this is yet more evidence of things being placed carefully in these areas. They're not just randomly lying on the ground. A lot of these things were placed there. And a lot of these things represent burials and structures or burial structures that are there eroded away and broken down. And a lot of these things were very carefully placed either on top of rocks or in little cubby holes like little burial chambers and things like that as well, okay? The colour one's really nice. So this was found by Jim West, and uh, Rami Barlan did the actual enhancement here. And here's the actual gigapan here. And uh, I had to brighten this up a lot. The, the initial one I did was a bit too dark, and all these rocks were really black and in shadow. So if you're a gigapan person like me, who makes gigapans out there, Make sure they're nice and bright, because if they're too dark, you can't see this stuff. It gets hidden in the shadows, right? So um, it's better for it to be too bright than too dark, I would say. So really interesting. I don't know what it is. Um, that's the point, and it's not my discovery, so I'm not claiming this. So full credit to uh, Jim West for this one. Jim's found some really cool stuff. Um, but it really does look like a, a kind of skull with teeth here, complex teeth and jaw coming round, and two dark eyes, and, and a strange head. Now, what sort of creature this represents, whether it's carved or whether it's an actual skull, I don't know. Um, but you can see that it's a different type of material to the thing that it's on. This kind of plinth-like rock underneath it, or column, is more like the natural eroded rock in the area, right? And you can actually see here that the, it's different. It's got these striations going through it and it's kind of split into layers and eroded through, whereas this is not. So this looks like it was put on this later on. This doesn't look as eroded as the, the plinth or column underneath it. Which says to me, artificial. So that was interesting. Now, it's very similar to some of the stuff I found in this area. There's loads of weird stuff like that. There's some burial chambers here, which I've shown before. I've shown these close up before. These are burial chambers here, these squares. These are like little cubby hole chambers and skulls and things were placed in them. And often, as I've shown before, some of the big mounds I've shown, some of the burial mounds and, and uh, buttes have often got burial chambers in them, cut into them, much like you would see in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. And uh, you get these ridges or, or long rocks so they've got parts carved out. And often what they would have done, and I've shown examples of this, is they would put a skull in there, or head, and they would have a kind of um, slightly cylindrical rock, flat rock, which would act like a door, and they would roll it in front to cover the hole, okay, like a little doorway, okay? And often there'd be a carving on that part covering the hole. So you'd have like a, a slab in front of it with a carving on it. Okay, so, and, and I have shown examples of that. So 
But what was interesting about this one in particular is this buried structure and the rover has driven right over the corner of it here. You can see the tracks here, right? And if you follow the tracks up to here, it goes up here, the, the rover drove around these rocks here in between the larger rocks and then came across here and drove right over this buried structure, which is collapsed and buried just here. And you can see where the rover came from up here. It actually drove around here. And up here, you can actually see there's another structure buried in the ground. You can see it right here. See that long straight line there? There's a corner there. And there seems to be some steps here, like an part of an entrance or something, and an outline of a structure in the ground. There's also a ruined structure here, up here, with rectangular parts and blocks kind of split away on the end there, right? You've got a, a ruined structure there, we've got ruins here, where you've got a, a wall, you can see that wall there, and a partition there, with steps there, right? And we come down here, and then we've got a close-up of this structure, which is the remains of a, a, a building, or at least a room, or a couple of rooms of a building, and this whole thing here, I think, was a building here, right? And we got this, now I've shown some of this before, we got this remains of a very eroded and broken column or something sticking up here. I think that marked one side of the uh, structure and the structure comes along here in a sort of rectangle here. And we've got another room here. Now if I get rid of this, you'll see what I mean. Let's get rid of that. And you can actually see that there's a wall here coming to here, there's another wall here, coming to here, and then this is all collapsed down. This is probably part of the roof structure and upper parts of the wall that have fallen down. So we've got loads of fragments here, architectural fragments, and there's a weird sort of partition in between with what may have been a door here. So we've got this weird sort of almost bone-like, now this may actually be a bone, this here, a fossilized bone coming across, then we've got a broken bit here, and then it, there's a part of a wall here. So what we have is a kind of square structure with a, a rectangular part here as well, and we've got a partition coming across here. Now this actually may have been part of um, a lintel or something that was going across the roof or something that's collapsed down, I don't know. But it's all filled in with sand, and it seems like there's probably another partition here going from here to here but it's buried. You've got a sand dune over the top of it, right? So we have a room with a cross section coming across there and another one going across there. And if I put that back on now, the outline, you can actually see the shape of the actual room. This may represent a fireplace here or something, like an alcove. And we've got a kind of rectangular, it's irregular. This may have subsided as well. Um, a lot of this stuff has slipped we're on the sort of side of a mountain here, or near the bottom of, the, of Mount Sharp. And a lot of this stuff has moved around over the years, I think, and subsided. And some of the ground has slipped away. So this thing may have been more rectangular initially, and it's kind of um, broken down. But there seems to be another wall here. So I think this whole thing here, this, this room with the partition coming across, is part of this larger structure. This whole thing here looks like it was a structure, this thing here. We got one side of it here, another side of it here, and this would have been one end. And that pillar, strange rock sticking up, probably marks one end of the structure. Okay, so there may have been a door here or something, or an archway, or something like that, okay? And we've even got what seems to be an inner wall or inner room here as well, just here, which is kind of rectangular shaped. Okay, just here. Right? So we've got multiple structures here, and we have burial structures, and uh, these little square holes, which I've shown before. I'll put a link in the description for a close-up of this as well. I also have this close-up here, this is 3437, okay? So this is the same sole, but this is a different angle, and closer, you can actually see this partition here. Now, this looks like a bone, I'm not sure if it is, this thing here. 
there's, there's like a partition coming across here, and then we have that alcove there. So this is a slightly different angle, right? This is mast right, and this is mast left. And the mast right is zoomed in more, so we're looking up real close of this room. And we've got this wall coming out here. So NASA seemed to have recognised what this is, because if they didn't recognise what this was, why would they have taken these shots here of this wall? They would have surely just taken a load of random shots and ignored that detail. But for some reason, they, they bothered to program the camera or the rover to take these extra few shots here, which I've added on to this gigapan here, to make sure they got this feature in the image. And you can see the, the tyre or wheel mark here where it drove over it there, right? So it, they must know what this is. There's no way, e even a highly sceptical, brainwashed um, government employee would uh, have difficulty not recognising what this is. Um, you don't have to be an archaeologist to, to really know what you're looking at here because some of this stuff is so obvious, okay? It really is absolutely obvious what we're looking at. We're, we're looking at rooms, we're looking at structures that have collapsed down, we've got rectangles here. I mean, this alcove is rectangular just here, all right? You can see it, and you can see the walls. And uh, we've got cornerstones like this one here, like a cornerstone that's split here, okay? And there, there's rooms here, there's a, a long rectangular room here. So there was a structure here, it's all collapsed. There's loads of crazy stuff. And um, we've also got steps in the background and another room here, like another structure. And it's really obvious what we're looking at. And the rover's just driven straight over the corner of it here, right? And uh, this stuff must be pretty robust because it hasn't broken. The rover's driven over this wall and it hasn't split it. So this obviously goes down into the, into the ground under all this sand here. It's probably quite robust and quite strong, this wall, I would say, for, for it to take the rover's weight. I mean, it's a bit fragmented there where it's driven over this bit. You can see that's kind of split there, that rock. But this is intact. So this is quite a robust structure, even though it's ruined and buried. If you were to dig away this sand, you would find that there's a partition here and probably another one here. And this probably goes down quite a long way, I would say. It could be five feet, could be 20 feet, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of sand in this area burying everything. And what we're seeing are only the upper parts that are sticking up or the bits that aren't buried. And obviously it's all kind of filled in with sand and rubble. A lot of the rubble's kind of slid down and there's been a lot of subsidence and uh, movement on the ground, probably over many thousands of years in this area, okay? There's a close-up here of the, that thing, which I think is a sarcophagus as well, this thing here. There's the head, this is the head, two eyes, a nose there, and a mouth here, that's a head. And I think this is a burial sarcophagus or box, stone box, and this is the top. And if you were to lift this up or prise it open here with a crowbar or something, there would probably be something underneath it inside, like a burial. Because we have burial chambers in the area, which I've shown before. Now, this is Sol 3403, and it shows the same area, okay? So we, if we go back to 3437, we've got these chambers here, square chambers, and we have the room here, right? And we have those steps up there, and then we have this larger room here with the columns sticking up or whatever that is, and a room here. Now, if we look at this one, this was taken a lot earlier. This was taken about 34 days earlier, taken 34 days previous, but we've got a much wider angle of view with a lot more images here stitched together. Now, we can see the corner of that room here, right? There's that partition, which is this here. So at this point, the rover was further over and you can see a lot of the same things, but in much closer detail. Now, we're at a different angle, but you can see those burial chambers here, all cut out. And 
like I said, there's that partition and part of the wall here and the cornerstone. There's the cornerstone there. It's there. And here's the cornerstone here. So we're looking at the same things. But you can see these things closer up and you can see that column thing, which is quite extraordinary. It's part of this structure here, right? So there was a wall here and this is part of it. But it's all collapsed and broken and smashed. And this is one end of the structure, like I said here. When you look at this area here, right, you can see the rectangular structure here. And that's one end of it. And when we look at it closer, we're not seeing the whole thing because we've got part of the image missing. But we can see one end of the structure here. And there's extraordinary detail in this image, even though it's only black and white. As I've said before, often these black and white images are much better in detail. The point is, if you go on my Gigapan, my main Gigapan page, there'll be a link in the description. You can check out all these black and white images here because we've got close-ups of a lot of this stuff. There's that room again. This is a close-up of it. This is the room on the right of this one here. This, this is this bit. And you can actually compare a lot of the details here and get in really close and look at these things up close. And you can see that these are literally ruined walls and collapsed structures. And uh, you, can, you can look at any of these, these black and white ones I've done recently and compare them. And you can see what we're looking at. And uh, there's another room here. Now this is, this is a part of the same area, right? There, where are we? Let's orientate it. We've got this weird structure here sticking out like a wall here. And this is a room here as well, just here. It's a bit hard to make out in black and white, but when you see it from this angle, we're looking down on it from a lot closer. This is Sol 3443. That's the same area. If I get rid of this, I've drawn around it for you. If I get rid of that, uh, like this, you can actually see that there's a wall a partition there, and it comes along to the back here, and there's another partition here, like a outer wall. So we've got like a, a sort of rectangular structure here. Okay, but it's pretty hard to work out in, unless you look at the other ones as well, like this one and this one. So when you flip between them, you can really work out what you're looking at. And that room I just showed you, the little small room, is actually here, just here. So it's like a chamber, it's not really a proper room, just here. Right, that's this here. So these all correspond to each other, you can overlap them, you can flip between them. You can check these things out. These are ruined buildings, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the links in the description as usual. Please give the thumbs up, smash that, that uh, like button, and I will see you soon.